Hi, it's Leaf and welcome back to my time at Sandrock. It's been a while since we played, but with the recent update and being able to finally date Fang, uh, and with part two of said update coming in just two days, uh, I've been having a hard time uh, focusing on this Let's Play, especially since it's so far behind the current story. It's my own fault that we are so far behind, and yet I keep making it worse. Um, so without further ado, let's just do something about it. Okay, what's going on here? Nothing. We've got some mail, but apart from that, and apart from the quest for Chi, we have nothing to do, so we can clean up a bit. Uh, because this is... Terrible. Um, okay, do I have any quests? No, just the quest for Chi. Alright, so let's read the mail. We have a letter from Vivi. Leaf, thank you for helping me out with the salted fish. I'm sure Mort appreciates the care. You can bring him more from time to time if you so feel. He'll enjoy it. I made you a little something to say thank you. And another letter is from Ma. Dear Leaf, hey, haven't heard from you in a little while. Everything okay? Love you lots, Ma. Um, everything is fine. And I have one letter I should answer. Huh. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's... Ah, it's Nia's letter. Uh, this is the first letter we get from Nia. We got it a couple of days ago. Uh, yeah, and she basically says that she misses us and so on and so forth. Yeah, you've abandoned me. <laughs> I'm joking, I miss you. Uh, okay, so what actually are our options? I can reply by saying, I miss you too, or I hate it here. Oh, it's way hotter here than I expected. Uh, also, I miss high wind. And... Uh, I'm doing great, the people here are lovely, and generally, I don't need you. <laughs> I'm doing fine without you, and this is not what she would like to hear or read. So, we're gonna pick the I miss you. I miss you too version. She's supposed to be our best friend, right? Okay, replied. And now, we're gonna jump on the horse, and uh, the train is coming. And we should probably uh, get a commission. And after we do that, we'll probably uh, see what the blue arrows are about. Okay, let's see what's on the map. Person of interest. And the other one is keeping up with the Yakmills. And that's a quest for Cooper. Okay, let's go and get that commission. Money is not gonna make itself. And my reputation is not gonna take care of itself either. So... Jan is not here again. Okay, let's see. Um, da -da -da. Ah, Arvia was for some reason uh, collecting rubber rings. Um, also rubber shells, but rubber rings are much funnier. <laughs> and also there are wooden boards for Owen. And actually I wouldn't mind taking a commission from Owen. But uh, rubber rings pay better. Besides, it's a, uh, it's a level 2 commission, so it's generally better. Okay, let's take rubber rings. Later I'll just uh, give Owen a gift and that's it. Uh, oh, I should have checked. Okay. Uh, I already have four rubber rings uh, and I have no rubber. Uh, well, we're just gonna have to go and find some rubber. Which shouldn't be particularly difficult because I know exactly where to find some. I know there's some rubber next to sand fishing spot, and there should be some next to the lifts, and then there's some rubber next to dead trees. So, yeah, this shouldn't be a problem. But processing it is going to take a while, unfortunately. So, actually, there's no guarantee where we will be able to complete this order today. We'll see. Uh,. In the last episode, we were introduced to Logan. We had the train robbery scene. Uh, and I think that the nearest update will actually 
let us meet this guy for real. Well, the update is called The Secret Behind the Mask, so not only will we meet Logan, but also he will become unmasked. Unfortunately, the devs had a little slip up and they already unmasked him uh, and removed his hair for some reason. Uh, yeah, but things like that, unfortunately, they happen and uh, mistakes are part of the early access territory. Um, but that one was unfortunate. Oh, and this is a thing now, the textureless grass. Uh, I hope they fix it in the next update. But as I said, early access. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can make some more rubber rings for our view. And after we do that, we're gonna go and check out the question marks. Uh, not here, here. Uh, okay, let's add some fuel, but I can only make two. Yeah. So, we need to process some of the rubber that we uh, found. Mm, yeah, fuel is missing. Oh my god. I don't have any fuel. I don't have any dregs. I actually forgot to start the uh, first processor, so... Rubber goes here. And then in this one... Uh, copper, uh, mechanical scrap. Okay. And because uh, it's gonna take a while, we can now go and check out those quest markers. This one I honestly don't remember. Ah, okay. I know. I know exactly what's gonna happen. It's, yeah, it's Ernest. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Might I have a word? I'm new to Sandrock, and I would be remiss to pass up an opportunity to speak with a dignified-looking damsel such as yourself. Ooh, hoo, hoo. My stars! Did you listen to that? I reckon that must be the phrasings of a bona fide Taran gentleman. Ain't nobody talks fancy like that around here. Well, given the fact that Mabel is married to Cooper, I'm not surprised she's impressed. Well, what can I do you for, a newcomer? Looking for good eats? Or just a place to kick up your heels? I've been ranching these parts for more than 20 years. Reckon I ought to know a thing or two by now. Just ask our builder here. Yep, Mabel probably knows everything there is to know about Sandrock. Hmm, I believe you. I'm Ernest, by the way. I'm here on the behalf of the Atara Times. I was hoping to do a piece on that bandit fellow who's been giving you all so much trouble. Would you care to weigh in on the situation? Of course you want to know about him. Oh, I reckon you mean Logan. Mr. Ernie, sir, I, I don't suppose you were on that train, were you? You still want to catch up with that rascal? Of course he does. Well, here's my way in. You'd do best by packing your bags. That Logan's a wanted man, and he likely won't take kindly to a fancy talking, pants wearing, city slicking point Dexter snooping around. No offense. Oh my. If you want to write about something, write about the scenery. Try some of our Yakmal sausage. It's so good, people all the way from Porsche make their way over to stock up on it. <laughs> Logan, forget about it. Wait till the core catches him, then ask him yourself. <sighs> and it was going so well. <sighs> I've really hit a wall these past few days. Can't seem to get anyone to open up. Are they really so afraid of one guy? Is it my cologne? Yeah, probably the very fact that you're wearing it. <laughs> you, Builder. Um, despite all that, I don't suppose you would be willing to answer some of my questions? About Logan. Well, ask away! Uh, really? You will? Fantastic! One moment, let me just get out my notebook. Mm -hmm. For this interview, please try to be as objective as possible. Try not to let your feelings or any biases get in the way. Um, it's important that I only get the facts as I try to understand this bandit persona. Well, about that, I don't think I can do that, but I'll try my best. <laughs> okay. Ahem. First question. Do you know Logan personally? Nope, never met him. That's alright. Still, you've lived here for a while, haven't you? I believe your insight may yet be of use. Okay, I'll be glad to help. Tell me what he looks like. I mean, 
have you seen the posters around here? They really couldn't have found a picture of him without a bandana over his face. Just a simple description will do. Um, listen, Ernest, here's the deal. I've never seen the guy, but because he's a bandit and because he has a cool hat and uh, a bandana and white hair, I'm gonna have to say he's hot. Oh no, he's hot. Uh, why does everybody keep saying that? <laughs> I'd say rather... Logan has a disarming glare. Ice cold. I'll never forget it. And even through the bandana, you can see there are stories written on his face just waiting to be told. Okay, so you didn't need my answer. Logan's accomplice. The man who helped him on the train. What do you know about him? What's his name? Actually, I don't know that, but that's Haru, his oldest friend. Haru and Logan. I see. Yes, I noticed that they seem to be close. Each one seemed to know what the other was about to do from just a quick glance. Hmm... Seems there are several mysteries swirling around this particular figure. I'll have to mull it over. In any case, I suppose this counts as my first complete interview. They sent me here to just do a little throwaway piece for Ernie's World. But this whole bandit thing is gold! My editor Eduardo is gonna flip! Uh, good luck. Bandits? On your train? It's more likely than you think. Mm, no, that's no good. Ne'er do well nabs nada? Uh, no, how cheesy is that? About as cheesy as your hair. Uh, and I mean the color. Oh, yeah, Jasmine. Haha. <laughs> uh, hey there, kiddo. I seem to keep seeing you around. You're not following me, are you? Are you alright? I'm fine. <laughs> are you lost? Where's your mother? Ernest, you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. <laughs> I'm not lost. I live here. My ma's in the desert now. Ah, I see. In the desert. Oh, goodness. Oh, boy. Sweetie, where do you live? Do you need someone to help you get home? Oh, brother. No, um, you're Ernest, the writer. Did you write the Maltese Pigeon? <laughs> oh, you're a fan, huh? Gosh, why didn't you say so? Oh, that book you've got. That's my latest release. Why don't I sign it for you? Okay. Oh, that would be great! Thank you, Mr. Ernest! Hey, anything for a fan. Who should I make this out to? Jasmine. That's J-A-S. Uh, huh. And Jasmine, sweetie, why don't you tell me? What was your favorite part about this book? Oh, Ernest, you really have no idea. Um, actually, I thought the story this time was a bit contrived. <laughs> eh? Contrived? Wow, such a big girl word. Where did you... I'm not finished. <laughs> the characters are paper thin. And if you've even been paying half attention, you can see every twist coming from a legal way. I think you've been really writing it in lately. Your old stuff was way better. <laughs> well, little kid, with all due respect, you're a little kid and you don't know anything. I'm your primary demographic! Touché! <laughs> Actually, as you can clearly see displayed on the back cover, the book is intended for all ages. Well, that's all the time I have for today. Here you go, and cheerio! Wow, look, Mr. Teddy! We got an autograph from Ernest, the famous writer! Let's put it under our pillow tonight! Uh, I'm sure that Jasmine really likes his books. Uh, but I think that the major mistake Ernest made was treating Jasmine like a little kid, and I don't think she likes it very much. And he had to learn the hard way. <laughs> You really can't please everyone. She's kind of right, though. My novels have only ever really caught on with the under-12 demographic. It's gotten so hard to continue to outdo myself. Uh, uh you write books? <laughs> yes. The Maltese Pigeon is my most famous work. It's a classical whodunit mystery where it turns out it was the butler all along. <laughs> Oops. Guess I spoiled it for you. Well, it's still good. 
I recommend you check it out. Uh, do I look like I'm under 12 years old? Anyway, that little girl sounded a lot like my critics in Walnut Groove. They rated my latest novel a rotten score of 3 walnuts out of 10. But, pff, I don't write for them. I write from the heart, okay? Okay, if you say so. <laughs> Poor Ernest, but he is kind of full of himself. It was nice running into you again, Builder. But I really should get back to work. Despite the one-off critic here and there, plenty of fans are in fact looking forward to what I come up with in Sandrock. So long! Yeah, bye bye Have fun. Good luck. Yeah, he is full of himself. Uh, well. Right, uh, next we have... Um, actually, let's talk to Mabel first. Hello! Uh-huh. Sandrock ain't as prosperous as it used to be, but some of us town folk are still as spirited as ever. Good. Take it easy. Okay, let's follow another arrow. Uh, oh. This is going to be food scraps, right? Yeah. Ugh. Uh, never mind. Let's get the horse and let's follow another arrow. Now, this quest is called Keeping Up with the Yakmills. Dear game, did you just call the Kardashians cows? No, you wouldn't do that. That would imply they're actually useful. <coughs> Sorry. Hairball. Okay. Dang nabbit hogwash fiddlesticks. Mabel, did you leave the gate open? No, dear. Yeah? Then where in the Sam Hill are all the Yakmel? <laughs> um, need a hand? I'm a builder. Well, well now. I don't heard tell there was supposed to be a couple new builders around town as of late. Didn't expect such a young'un. But I guess it ain't much of a surprise now, neither. Ever since our water supply started drying up, good help's been scarce as hen's... Uh, as hen's teeth. Can't blame him, though. Ain't much to be made out here these days. Why, uh, when I was your age, young'un, the sandrock I knew were practically paradise. That's right, we had eggs in every hen nest, two socks for every pair of feet, and water, precious and delicious water. There was plenty to go around, not like these days. Cooper's wiry voice, which once grated against you like sandpaper, is now sounding like a soft lullaby being whispered into your ear. Uh, keep listening. And the cacti. Well, now, I guess I ain't got what you call concrete proof. More of an anecdotal evidence. However, I am rather certain that the color of the cacti have grayed a bit. Not that it's necessarily a problem, and one, again, I do admit could be a figment of my own imagination. However, the pointlessness of Cooper's ramblings begin to tug at your very soul. Your eyelids are becoming heavy. Uh, keep listening. Green is the natural color of a healthy cactus, therefore it would stand to reason that if the cacti were getting more healthy, they'd be greener as opposed to less green, which, as I outlined earlier, simply ain't the case. You feel like you've been listening to Cooper talk about cactus for hours, but when you check the time, only a few minutes have passed. Keep listening! Cooper's rant continues on for what feels like eternity. You begin to question your own sanity and whether or not Cooper possesses some sort of extraordinary ability to manipulate time. <sighs> you are unable to concentrate on the individual words that he says anymore, but he brushes over broad topics involving the fashion of his youth and the various slang words used for goals at that time. Keep listening. And make sure it's a bronze fence. I know what you're thinking. The whole rest of the fence is wood. Well, guess what? We ain't allowed to chop down trees no more, so better make it bronze. You rutabaga, you. And, and make... Ah, yeah, okay. I'll get right to it. Thank you, partner. Finally, a young'un here earning their keep. <laughs> Listening to Cooper's entire rant has made you more disciplined. Max stamina increased by two. Well, two is not that much. But it's a reward, and uh, actually it happens again in the latest uh, update. They added a scene where you can actually listen to another rant by Cooper, and you gain another two points of stamina. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's go and take care of that. Actually, let me check the quests. 
Yeah, and I'm gonna track this one because tracking excavating the sky is pointless. Currently. So, I have all the bronze that I need and I just need two pieces of thick rope, which shouldn't be a problem. Right, so, let's fix this fence. This fortunately is easier than rubber rings for RVM. Okay, confirm. Okay, and it's done. And now we need to go and talk to Cooper. Can I just jump over that fence? Yeah, of course I can. Cooper, I fixed your fence. Yeah? Fine work, youngin. With builders like you around, Sandrock is sure to be in tip-top shape in no time. Was that an actual praise? From Cooper? Whoa! I'll holler back at you for some more work sometime. And you know what they say. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. That means if you help me, I'll help you, you hear? A quid pro quo, if you will. A mutually beneficial exchange, I say. <laughs> you decide to slowly back away. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. <laughs> Before he starts talking some more. That was horrible. But we made it. It's over. We dealt with it. Ah. Right, and because it's Friday, and I just I just realized it's Friday, I need to go to the clinic and let Fang experiment on me some more because I'm such a simp. What can you do? Hopefully I'm not gonna grow additional arms. Well, actually, the worst that can happen is I can turn blue. So, yeah. Hello, you mercilessly beautiful creature. How will you harm me today? I wonder. You look great! Great, great, great! What did I say? I turned blue. Lovely. Only temporary. Yeah, and it makes me feel so much better. Uh, actually, usually people who take part in medical trials get paid. Just a thought. Uh, but I'm doing it for free and willingly. So that's actually madness. Yeah, we look beautiful. See? See what you did? Hmm? You test subject! Yeah. Subject! Fang! <clears throat> uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what I am. And I don't mind. <laughs> that's the funny part. Yeah, actually explain this to me. I allow a stranger to experiment on me. Uh, I risk my health in order to hopefully at some point be able to give him gifts. I'm a willing victim and a simp. In other words, a sucker. There, I said it. Okay, maybe it's a good idea to visit Chi and tell him to research something for us. Uh, at least that makes sense. Let me just check if I have any data disks on me. Yes, I do. 30. Great. Let's go. Let's do something that actually helps. Hiya, Chi. Hello. We we'll meet again. Remember, I'm not interested uh, in simply oh. fragments of an old relic. I want the whole device in one piece, ideally working. The civil court keep bringing me rubbish. Once they even confused an actuator for a transistor. Can you believe that? Oh, oh, yeah. They're stupid. Uh, okay, listen. I need you to research something. Because you're actually not doing anything for me currently what do we want uh hmm well, we didn't even research the do collector and that's quite important so yeah let's do this uh can i speed it up a bit yeah but just one day well one day is better than nothing and also i'm gonna give you a gift because at least i can give you gifts. You're so easy to please, Chi. Those rubber rings are taking so long, I think I'm gonna visit Owen and also give him a gift, because he is also not that difficult to please. Pioneer. As far as I remember, Owen likes this book. Uh, also a couple of other people, but we're gonna give it to Owen. 
Another gift he likes getting uh, are ceramic jars. But that's probably because Amira makes them. But I can also make them, or I can learn. So, no need to trouble Amira. <laughs> uh, Owen, darling, I have something for you. Hello. Howdy. Hi. I'm always serving up tasty dishes on my tables at the Blue Moon. Make sure you stop in on the regular. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> you sweet person. Here's a gift for you. Oh, uh, I could also start playing critters with people. Uh, but not yet. I'm not very good at it. Owen, here's a book for you. Thanks. I love it. Ah, this brings me back. I haven't read this in a long time. Reminds me of what got me into storytelling in the first place. Thanks, Leaf. You gave me a real trip down memory lane. Uh, no problem. Enjoy. Ah, he is so normal. <laughs> he is so normal. It's beautiful. Okay, I could use a little pick-me-up. So, I'm gonna order some food. And... I'm gonna go do some ruin diving because the rubber run rings for Arvio are going to take a while and I really need to do something useful in the meantime. So let's eat. What worries me is that I am still on, ele on level three uh, and I should be- oh, 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 my daggers. And let's kill that creature. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's not very difficult to defeat him, uh, it's just switching between your tool and your weapon is uh, tricky, especially if you keep clicking your left mouse button, then the, the fact that you want to switch does not register, because you have to finish the move with one thing, stop clicking, switch to your weapon, and then you can fight him, and actually this is the biggest reason why he sometimes gets away from me. Because I, I panic and I keep clicking that left mouse button and then I can't switch to my weapon. Yeah, so as I was saying, I want to get to level 4 today. I should be able to do that, no problem. I would like to give Chi his uh, equatorial mount or whatever it's called. But in order to do that, I need to <laughs> dig deep. Uh, okay, we got it. And now we are moving down to level 4. And actually high time because I don't have that much stamina left. Okay, let's uh, try to get those uh, artifacts here. Uh, there's another one. Uh, I can see you, I just can't get to you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I have 12 stamina left, so let's just dig through here. Yeah. And I have no more stamina. Okay, great. Okay, so this is the, the next chamber we're gonna be getting our resources from. Lovely. And now I can just leave. And see if the rubber rings for our view are ready, but I doubt it. Okay, oh, we have some more rubber. And let's see, there's one ring, and I can make one ring, even when the ring we are making now is ready, uh, I'm still gonna need two. I could wait, but then again, I'm not gonna be able to complete this order today in any case, so, oh, why don't we just go to sleep and finish this quest tomorrow? Okay, so if that's the case, then that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I see you in the next video. Uh, however, probably the next video is going to be about the newest update. And yet again, the Let's Play is going to be put on hold. I'm sorry about that, but I am just too curious about that update, and I'm sure you are curious as well. Okay, anyway, thanks again for watching, and I see you in the next video, whatever it might be. Lots of hugs! and take care.